In this video, I'll show you how to find the surface area of a cylinder using a specific example. Uh, for a more general view of how to find a surface area of a cylinder or a prism, uh, you can look at some other videos that I've posted. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, the main thing that I always like to do for surface area problems is look at a net for the figure. The net for this figure would be a circular top or one of the two bases a rectangular piece, and then another circle for the other base. The rectangular piece comes from the fact that a cylinder, when you unroll that curved shape, essentially you have a rectangle. So, or you, not essentially, you actually do have a rectangle. So we've got our dimensions listed. I've got a radius of this circle is 5. Well, that radius transfers over to the net as well. And the height of the cylinder is 12. The height of the rectangle is the same as the height of the cylinder. In order to find the surface area, I need to add the total area of all the surfaces here. Area of a circle is found by doing pi r squared. In this case, our radius is 5. So it's 5 units squared. So we know the area of this circle is 25 pi units squared. As well, this circle is also 25 pi units squared. I just need to find the area of this lateral area, which is the curved surface. We know one of the dimensions. To find the area of any rectangle, it's just equal to the base times the height. We know that the height is 12. The base of that. This length right here is the same length as that on the original picture. And what that is, is it's the circumference of the base. The distance here is the same as the circumference of the base, the circumference of the circle. And since you find circumference by doing 2 pi r, our circumference is 2 pi times 5, or 10 pi. And that is the same as that base. So our area of the rectangle is 10 pi, the length of the base, which is the same as the circumference of that circle, times the height, which is 12, or 120 pi. So our total surface area of the cylinder is 2 times the area of the base plus the lateral area. This is the lateral area. So 2 times 25 pi plus 120 pi units squared. 50 plus 120. 170 pi units squared. Now, leaving it in terms of pi, I have the exact form or the exact answer. If you want a decimal approximation, you can use your calculator to determine that by just typing in now 170 times pi for an approximate value. 534.1 units squared. Now, you want to listen to your teacher or read the instructions uh, in terms of how you should leave your answer. If you're asked to leave your answer in exact form, that's in terms of pi. Or if you're asked to round the nearest tenth or hundredth, that's the decimal form. I always find it easier for cylinder problems, though, to just leave it in terms of pi until the very end. If you notice, I don't have 78 point something 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 written here, uh, and whatever 120 times pi dot blah 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 would be there. So it's a lot less writing to just leave it in terms of pi until the very end. And then I can just read the instructions again on the problem. If it says leave it in exact form, I would leave it just like this. If it says to approximate, 
or round in there as tenth or hundredth, well then I go to my calculator and type it in just once. Okay? So that's a specific example of how to find the surface area of a cylinder.